Reds or cherries, guys? Another shot drop. But this time, we got the cherries back. Let's get it. What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, C-Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And today we are reviewing the Air Jordan 12 Cherries. And I think we haven't seen this since 2007. That, that, that can't be right. A few moments later. Yes, sir. 2007. I think the Chicago Bulls won their fifth championship. But, um... This was rumors about this sneaker coming out for the last three years. Last year, we got the Jordan 11 uh, cherries. But we were leaning towards these. I mean, I used to be the hugest Jordan 12 fan. French blues, cool grays. I got rid of all of them. The only ones I kept was the bread joints. And if you watch the channel, bread anything I'm on. I know y'all down on them Jordan 1 satin breads. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little curious too because I didn't think the satin would be as good as the ones, you know the ones I'm talking about. This is my son pair here. He wore them a couple of times and not that bad. But I secured three of them. I got three coming release date. So we gonna get into that. But I was waiting on these, man. I still love my breads. But I was waiting on these, man. But anyway, they shot drop sneakers app. Um, $210. I think like $225 after tax and all that. And um, in hand, they're even prettier, guys. I know Jordan's is a little down now, but I think this is the beginning of bringing them back, man. These are nice. I don't want to talk too long, man. Let's unbox these. Hit the music. Yes, sir. Nostalgic history at its finest. When I was a kid, man, this box meant the world to me, man. Some of the most iconic Jordan sneakers came in this box, and I'm happy it's still around. So if you don't know, in the back, this is, this is like the first time we saw this quote, engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletes from around the world. I'm telling you, man, I remember Olympic 7s, I think. So many iconic joints, but you get that on the back. Just do it on the front. Classic Nike logo that I love on all the dunks we see. And a huge Nike swoosh at the top. And the classic brown, wooden, red, black mesh up. This was dope, guys. When you flip up the lid, you get that classic brown, thick tissue paper along with your white tissue paper. And let's start with the uh, right shoe. Here's a 360 view of the Jordan 12 Cherries, guys. Off the bat, what I really, really love, and I know is a settle, but it's the silver shoelace holders. I love that silver shoelace holder look, man. I think even if it was gold, it would have been dope, but I like the silver chrome look. Very, very dope. Little light hits it. Very nice. You got baby jump mans on, on all of them on each side. I really like that, guys. But if you've seen one Jordan 12, you've seen them all, but it's just something about this peppermint look, man. So you got the zigzag look, red on red, but look at the leather quality, guys. Looks like the 90s, early 2000 Jordans, man. Basketball leather look here. I haven't got the, the uh, orange ones that came out. Shout out to the WNBA. Um, but 
This is classic. So you got the red on red look there. Then your white comes in in the back. And even that leather is nice, man. You see the tumbleness all on the leather. The quality on my pair is excellent. No glue stains. No threads missing in action. So it look like they're not rushing these. I.E. like some of the other ones. On the back here. Kept it OG. The big Jordan uh, word on the back. And it reads... A Quality inspired by the greatest player ever. I knew it said that. I just had to double check. Some silver creeps back in too. And if you don't know, when the light hits this, this does reflect like the bike light, the bicycle light. It does reflect a little bit. Got your 23 there at the bottom. Very dope, man. And a, a, lot, a, lot, of, a lot of people don't know that at the bottom right here also incorporates the 23. That was like an Easter egg back in the day. So you got the 23 there. Also the Jordan man here that creeps into right there. Sneakers classic, man. Also on the tongue, 2 3 spelled out. Very dope. They kept that white. This leather is also snug in quality. Black Jordan man there, Jumpman logo, white shoelaces. I, I, I kind of wish they got away from OG a little bit and gave us red shoelaces, but I guess you could do that yourself, but the white is perfect also. No shoe tree here, guys. You just get balled up thick tissue paper. No shoe tree, but the inside is black with a red Jumpman logo also in there. Get up in there. Yes, sir. Back to the bottom, dope zigzag look on the bottom, getting away from the peppermint a little bit, even though you got the red all in there. This sneaker is dope, man. Very, very dope. That was the right shoe. Here's the left shoe. I forgot the Jumpman tab here on the taxis, and it's another pair I can't really remember right now. This is a different color. On the cherries, everything's red at the bottom like you like, dipped in like cherry. I know y'all seen that ice cream before. And um, you still see it says Jumpman, no, but everything's red there. Um, I really, really like this sneaker. My gripe with this sneaker back in the days was the white tongue and the shoelaces used to get dirty under. But, I mean, I guess that was cool to clean now that I look back at it. But back in the days, that was, that was one thing that really... I didn't like about the shoe, but man, the leather quality is A1. Y'all see the tumbledness, man. This sneaker's a go. Yes, sir, man. So this is a quick review on the Jordan 12 Cherries. Um, I think they release next week. Again, $210 price tag. Go in stock X right now. Got them roughly between $250 and $300, depending on size. Um... I think they're going to sell out, guys. Um, I know, like, the last couple of Jordans, you've been able to, like, walk in JD Sports or Finish Line and that nature and still get your size. But with these, I think they're going I think they're going to put a little limit on these and um, let these sell out and then restock, like, in a month later. Um, but I do recommend you try to get them on release date if you're not going to rock them right away. Try to get them on release date. And if you can't get them on release date, I think that resale value still going to be in uh, 300 250 I don't think it's going to go above that. But that's just my opinion, man. But my opinion be right a lot. <laughs> I'm your boy, Sneaker Nose. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section below which one y'all going to go with, man. The, the, the bread or the 12s? Everybody get rich.